Welcome to Black Templar Workshop. Here in this video we're going to talk about uh, some of the assembly of the the walls of the keep. What I got here so far is most of the walls are already up. Some other videos will talk about how to prepare all that but I want to show in general some of the steps here uh, I use to get this thing uh, uh, assembled. So this is one of the two inch strips that I cut earlier it's going between the 4-inch panel to the right and the 5-inch panel on the left. And um, all the panels get uh, a bit of glue uh, smeared on each edge before they get um, pinned into the model. And by pin, what I mean is uh, I'm using an air, air pinner. Uh, 23 gauge pin that's uh, pneumatically fired into the into the uh, part. Just think of it as a small headless nail uh, that gets shoved into the uh, into the wood. And by pinning this together, it goes together quite rapidly. Um, the pin will secure it while the glue is drying and the combination of that will make it uh, a lot stronger. So here I'm using the air powered pinner, getting the edge of the front panel flush with the side of the two inch strip and aiming the pin down the center. Uh, the plywood's only a quarter inch wide so I have to be careful to aim the pin right in the middle down the center of the uh, two inch panel there. Um, if you've used air pinners, you probably know to be careful of not getting your finger anywhere near where the pin's going to end up because if you miss, the pin will end up in your finger and then uh, it'll not be a very pleasant experience. So probably three or four pins will be enough here to attach that on the front. And then I'll turn it around to fasten the pins on the other side. So there's uh, some 1x2s that are used to support the structure from the inside that my hand is on there. But here I'm lining up the 2 inch panel with the face of the 4 inch panel on the left and looking down on it so I can line up the, uh, the pin correctly. takes only maybe uh, two or three pins to secure it. You can probably add another one if you want to for, for more strength, but I think that's enough. Okay, what I need to do now is, um, because I put that side panel in, that two-inch panel, I need to put a block behind there so I can further secure that horizontal beam to the the blocks that are attached to the panels. So clamping that block in position so it's flush against that inside corner. And then I'll use a uh, countersink which essentially is a, a drill bit that has a uh, additional cutter on the top to cut out the um, the room for the head of the screw that I'm going to put into that hole so the screw lies flush uh, when I insert the screw. So here I'm just using an Allen wrench to adjust the, the depth of the drill so they match the screws that I'm using. I'm using the I think one and a half inch or one and a quarter inch uh, drywall screws which are pretty good for this purpose here. Just hand tighten in the drill and then put two holes through the cross beam into the block and 
and then after this I'll be changing the bit and driving uh, two screws with the drill into the hole. Yeah, I forgot. I actually needed to uh, do something first. I had to put some glue on the sides that will be facing any of the wood part. So this is going to be on the two-inch strip side. And then I remembered I also have to put some glue on the side that's going to made up to the uh, bracket from the inside, smearing the glue evenly over the surface. Put it back in position and then reclamp it so I can keep it there while I get the drill and change the bit from the drill bit to the uh, Phillips head uh, driver. It's a low RPM drill, so it starts real slow. It's good for uh, driving screws. Just drive it until the head of the screw starts to crack a little bit. You don't want to overdrive it. Okay, so that's pretty strong now. That's going to be fine. And then I'm going to... the attach that block to the panel that I just attached. I'm going to fire a couple nails in there, a couple pins in there to complete that assembly. And if you notice, that's what I kind of did throughout all those cases there on the top rail. You see the other sets of screws on the bottom, the same blocks behind the rail flush up against the two inch panels that, um, that protrude out for each of the uh, towers on the left and right side of the uh, the keep walls. So that's pretty much how those uh, blocking is done. Use a countersink first and then drill the countersink hole and then drive the, uh, the screw into the uh, hole after gluing the block. And in the next next set of videos, I'm going to go over the uh, some more detail on the uh, the front of the uh, of the keep walls. But I needed to get this step out of the way to show how the panels get um, securely attached. Some more glue. That's uh, about an 8-ounce jar of glue, wood glue, and I think I've gone through about a third of the bottle uh, for the entire work so far. So it should, should be enough for the entire, entire model until I get done. And here the video will end here as I just repeat the process of putting the screw in there. And we'll talk about the front uh, detail in the next uh, videos.